This video is brought to you by our friends at ESR. Sometimes I fiddle around with my iPhone and I stumble on a great way to use it that I'd not thought about before. Well, I did that recently and I want to share this idea with you. Now, I get that everyone's different when it comes to setting up their iPhone, but if you'd like to know how simple and powerful a few iPhone widgets can be, then stick around. This video is for you. Hi, my name is Rich and I'm back with a short but I hope helpful video on how to better use your iPhone. This channel is a great resource for simple videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad. And if you think that might be of interest to you, please consider subscribing. All you have to do is tap the subscribe button and you're good to go. And by the way, subscribing to my channel, it's free. Today's short video is all about widget stacks. I've messed around with widget stacks since Apple first released them, but I never thought of using them the way I'm going to show you. Ultimately, the goal of this video is to get your iPhone home screen set up in a way where everything important is at your fingertips. No more digging around to find the important stuff. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first thing I want to do is just clean up the home screen. Again, I put out a whole bunch of videos recently on cleaning up the home screen. You probably have a whole lot of apps on there. I don't like that. It gets too confusing to me. So the quick and easy way to do this is just simply to tap and hold, and then you can just grab an app, and then you can tap these other apps like this, just like I'm doing, and you can slide it over. So you get to your app library, put it in one of the squares, and let go. And you're done. And now you've got a nice, clean home screen. And by the way, you haven't lost any of your apps. You can just go back over here and you can add them back. So if you wanted to add photos back, you could just tap and hold on it and tap add to home screen. And you've got it back. But again, I don't want that on the home screen, so I'm just going to tap and slide it back over here. Like that. Put it back in one of the squares, and now I'm back to a nice, clean home screen. So that's step one, cleaning up your home screen. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is just how to customize your home screen. You may have seen a few videos on YouTube about this. Um, I think Apple added this in iOS 18, so you need to have the latest version of iOS in order for this to work. But if you tap and hold on your home screen, you can go up to the edit button in the top left corner. And we're going to tap on customize. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it to automatic. You have light mode, dark mode, automatic, and tinted mode. I'm not going to get into tinted mode. That's pretty cool. You can try that. But I'm going to put it on automatic. And then you've got a little uh, light icon right here. It kind of looks like the sun. If you tap on that, it'll make it darker. I like to leave it light like that. And then I'm going to just tap like that. And now the icons in my dock have turned to dark icons, and that's one of the new features of iOS 18. But that's just what I wanted to customize to get it looking the way I want it to be. Now is a good time to tell you about two of my favorite ESR products. First up is the ESR Halo Lock Classic Hybrid Case. The minute you snap this case on, you know your iPhone is protected. You know, everyone tries not to drop their iPhones, but we all do at one time or another, and this perfectly molded case is just what you need to protect your iPhone when that drop occurs. With the camera guard, the iPhone lenses are protected and the shock absorbing air guard corners protect your phone from the nastiest drops, you know, the kind that end up cracking your screen. And to be clear, it exceeds three times the military grade protection. But protection is only part of what makes this my favorite case. The camera guard turns into a clever stand you can use to prop up your iPhone. I don't know of any other case on the market that has this unique stash stand. I'll often go out to lunch on a busy day and use the stand to prop up the iPhone while I read the news. And of course, it's perfect for watching YouTube videos. But what really distinguishes this case is the camera control protection button. With Apple's release of a capacitive touch camera control button, 
finding a case that protects that button while still allowing camera control is, well, you know, almost impossible. But ESR's case just does that, and it works too, flawlessly. Zooming in and out is as smooth as if you didn't have the case on. These are the kind of features that set ESR products apart. Oh yeah, this is a MagSafe case too. It has an incredibly powerful magnet that secures a strong hold on all your MagSafe products. And speaking of MagSafe products, ESR's Qi2 CryoBoost wireless car charger pairs with a halo lock perfectly. It mounts easily in your car, either with the included vent mount or, you know, if you prefer, a dash mount connector. Connect to your power source, and not only do you have an excellent way to keep your iPhone in sight when driving, you also have a powerful Qi2 charger. But, in keeping with ESR's constant push to be innovative, this charger also has a unique cryo-boost feature. The charger actually has a fan that keeps your iPhone cool while charging. I love it. And the magnets are really strong. You know, I've had other MagSafe iPhone holders where the iPhone pops off every time you hit a bump. That doesn't happen with the ESR CryoBoost Qi2 wireless car charger. And by the way, this charger is also compatible with the recently launched Samsung S25 Ultra, which is, you know, Samsung's first phone to support Qi2 MagSafe charging. If you're in the market for the perfect case for your iPhone or a powerful wireless charger for your car, then be sure to check out the ESR Halo Lock Classic Hybrid Case and the ESR Qi2 Wireless Charger with CryoBoost. Links to these products are in the description below. Okay, now back to the video. Okay, next up is just making sure you've got the apps in the dock that you need. Now, for the setup that I'm going to show you today, these are the four apps that I need. I always keep my phone and messages in the dock because those are communication apps and the phone for me is basically just communication. But today I'm also going to put the Reminders app and the Calendar app in there. If you don't have that, I'll just show you again. We'll just take those out. We'll remove from home screen. And if you have other apps in here, you can remove them just like that. And now to add back the Reminders app. You can go over here and you can find reminders. Here it is under the productivity and finance section. So I'm just going to tap and hold and I'm going to tap add back to home screen. So I've got reminders there and then I'm going to go back into productivity and finance and it looks like a tiny icon of a calendar there but I'm just going to tap on those. Yeah and there's calendars so I'm going to tap and hold again and I'm going to tap add to home screen and now, to get them the way I want them, I'm just going to drag them, tap and hold, and just drag them down here into the dock. So now, for purposes of this setup, I've got my phone, my messages, my reminders, and my calendar in the dock, and that's what you need. Okay, so you may have heard of widget stacks. If you haven't, this is how you add a widget or a widget stack to your home screen. If you tap and hold, you go up to the little edit button at the top and you tap on that and you tap add widget. Now you can come in here and you've got something here as an example of a smart stack. So I'm just going to tap on that and we're just going to click add. This is just by way of example. But here you've got a list of different apps. You've got the photos app a calendar, a weather, a music app, uh, contacts, TV, reminders, just a whole bunch of different things in here. And that's the way I've always used apps. I just sort of put it up there or I put a bunch together that didn't really make sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this back off and we're going to customize the widgets that we want. So I've tapped and held on the screen and now I'm going to hit the little minus to remove that and I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to go back up to Edit, and I'm going to click on Add Widget. And this time, I want my Reminders widget. I'm going to go all the way down to Reminders, and then I'm going to just slide over. And here's a list. That's the widget I want. I'm going to tap Add Widget. Then I'm going to do Edit, Add Widget again, and I'm going to go right back to Reminders. I'm going to go right back over to list and I'm going to add it again. So now I have it here twice. I'm going to edit and I'm going to 
add widget again. I'm going to go right back to reminders and I'm going to add the list yet a third time. So now I've got the same thing here. Now to customize which list you see on a widget, you just simply tap and hold and you tap edit widget. And now you get to choose the list and I'm going to choose today, my today view. Then I'm going to tap and edit this one and I'm going to edit the widget again and I'm going to take the list and I'm going to do scheduled. And then I'm going to tap and hold and I'm just going to drag them right up on top of one another to create a widget stack. So now I've got a widget stack of the actual list that I'm interested in and I can jump to them that way or I can just scroll through them like this. So here's my scheduled tasks, here's what's in my inbox, and there's what's on my today list. Now one of the things that Apple does that I just don't like is that when you create your own widget stack, if you tap and press on the stack and you tap edit stack, you'll see that it's smart rotate is on and widget suggestions is on. And all of a sudden, it'll just start adding stuff in there that you didn't put in the list. So it's important when you create your own custom widget stacks to turn those off like that. And now you have the widget list that you want. And of course, you can put as many lists in there as you want. Okay, so that's my reminder stack. Now I'm going to add a calendar stack. Very similar. So I'm going to tap and hold. I'm going to tap on edit. I'm going to tap on add widget. This time I'm going to tap on this calendar because it happens to show up right there. And I'm going to tap add widget. And again, I'm going to add widget. And I'll tap on it. Actually, I'm going to go down to calendar. And I'm going to find a different widget. I'm going to use this one. Add widget. And then I'm going to edit. Add widget. I'm going to go down to calendar again. And I'm going to get the month. So I'm going to add that widget too. So now I'm just going to drag them on top of one another. Just like that. And I'm going to add that up to the top. But again, I need to tap and hold. Tap on Edit Stack and undo Smart Rotate and Widget Suggestions. So now I have my calendar. See what day it is. I can see the month very quickly there. I can see if I've got any appointments today. And again, I've got my lists up here for reminders. Pretty cool. The last widget stack I want to add is weather because if you've watched any of my videos, you know I love the weather widget. So I'm going to tap and hold. I'm going to go to edit again. I'm going to go to add widget. And I'm going to go down to the weather so as not to confuse you. And I'm going to go to weather and we've got forecast. And then we have details and I'm going to tap on add widget. I'm going to go to edit again. I'm going to go to add widget again. I'll add this one which is just forecast there. And then I'm going to do it one more time. Add widget. I'm going to go down to weather, again, and this time I'm going to get the daily forecast, add widget, and then I'm going to actually going to just slide those over on top of one another like this. And I'm going to tap and hold. Whoops. I'm going to tap and hold. I'm going to edit the stack. I'll remove Smart Rotate and Widget Suggestions. And there you have it. Now I've got the weather for today. I've got what the upcoming conditions are going to be, precipitation. I can see what the following week is going to be. I have my calendar over here. And these are all built-in widgets that come with your iPhone, by the way, so you don't have to buy anything. And then I've got my list of uh, reminders down here. And not only that, it looks pretty good. So it would be handy if I could tap and hold on that and add an appointment. I can't do that, but that's why I put the calendar down here. 
because now I can quickly just tap and hold and using a quick action, I can tap on add an event and now I can just add an event to my calendar without having to open the calendar and go through all of that stuff. Likewise with reminders, I can tap and hold and I can add a reminder to my inbox or any of my other lists that I have here. If I tapped on new and inbox, now I can just create a new task right there and then I'm done. So reminders and calendars down here in the dock so that I can add stuff when I need to and then I've got it real handy just showing up here. And that's just a great way to use iPhone widgets. So there you have it, a quick easy way to place a few important widgets on your iPhone home screen. And if you don't like or need the widgets I've used, remember, you can always use your favorite widgets. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.